Some guys I'm bald. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what. Cut my hair. I'm so sad. I'm so. I feel like a naked mole rat. I feel like a little baby. A naked baby. It's so tragic. It's so funny. As soon as I cut, I was like, why? This is just like when I cut my beard. There's like nothing there anymore. But when it, that was three years plus worth of hair. So, but oh well, it's all good. It'll grow back. Plus, it, it kind of feels nice to have, like, feel the, like, the base of my skull. And kind of, like, even be remembered. Or... Uh, to be remembered of the scars of the past, if you know about what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, um, sorry again for the hiatus. It just, I don't know, it's like, there's this inner resistance every time I want to make a daily video, because I just don't want to fall into that mindset of, oh, I gotta come up with some shit to say, and then I just randomly start coming up with shit just to make a video content. I really don't know what the cadence for this vlog is going to be like, but eh, I'm hoping it, it works itself out. Um, but yeah, I've been just trekking along, um, trying to make videos here and there. Um, I've really been focusing more on like the programming aspect, so I've been um, essentially trying to learn more about different not only programming languages but technologies so i recently i started getting into database programming especially specifically using oracle and i'm like holy shit this is so funny like database programming is e is essentially using spreadsheets on steroids like that's literally it like you know you open a spreadsheet you have your columns and then your rows and that's literally what database programming is. Like you fill in those, uh, every cell with values. It could be an integer, strings, and then you, you can essentially call or use a particular column to save info on a particular piece of data. So your name column, your birthday column, right? Your country, etc. And then now, um, What's cool, though, is, uh, as I mentioned, the third part is, along with, like, uh, an interesting way of doing it, or, like, a programming way of doing it, meaning you code it in using SQL, which is surprisingly a ridiculously fucking cool and simple language. Like, I was, for the longest time, really scared of uh, learning SQL because I thought that it was just going to be terrible, but it's actually ridiculously simple and easy to pick up. And from, like, all the programming, like, the different types of queries that I've exposed myself to, to select with and or joining tables, interjoined, etc., like, they're actually pretty simple. Like, and the funny part is the human is what confuses it because there are so many ways of combining data and merging tables, um... It's so easy to kind of like confuse yourself on uh, menial detail because of the way the language or the technology, the maybe the uh, what they call it, relational database management system, right? Which is essentially a fancy word for the program that runs the spreadsheet on steroids features. That's a simple way of putting it. Right, so they're different. There's like, there's Oracle, there is uh, Microsoft, there's different technologies that do database programming. But essentially because of the way it works, they're um, essentially queries or commands that you have to pass to essentially join them together. And then depending on what you're trying to join and what you're trying to join together, and then how you're trying to organize it, right? Because you want to always remember at the end, this database stuff is ultimately going to be used for a report, right? So if you're trying to generate, hey, um, so I'm selling 
burgers and sandwiches and I want to see what sells the most, right? You can generate, um, you can generate, okay, uh, so burgers Monday through Friday sold this, 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 and sandwich Monday through Friday sold this, 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 right? And um, it's just a way that you generate the report, the way that you organize the data in a way that is nice to look at is what makes everything a bit more tedious. But for the most part, it's actually really simple to understand. So that's actually been extremely fucking cool to see, right? So I've really been delving into that more. And then um, also kind of sad by the fact that, like, I've realized that it's so, so weird. I don't know how else to put it, but it's almost like I've, like, outgrown reading books because I've realized that a lot of books are fluff. Like, a lot of books are just, like, regurgitated, like, feel good, like, be positive, keep going, bro, instead of, like, hardcore, tangible, like, practical skills that I'm really hungry for. So, taking a page out of, like, one of my siblings, I've really been trying to focus on actually reading, like, hardcore books, like, um, like, delving into WordPress, like, WordPress development, or even reading how, like, learning on, like, PHP and CSS. Like, I've downloaded the books, and my goal is essentially to go through that. And essentially, I'm trying to just be more selective on the information that I'm taking in because I just don't need any more, like, psychology bullshit at this point. Like, I'm really trying to up my game, really trying to become a game changer, and to do that, like, I have to go to a deeper level in my understanding of my skills and, like, my craft and the technology, the digital platform, the medium. And so that involves getting more in-depth information. So that's really been what I've been focusing on. I'm still run- waking up early and running and then going to the gym. I caught a flat this week, so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm thinking about just straight up running to the gym. <laughs> um, so we'll see. And I don't know, just trying to just... Um, another thing is uh, just I realize that I still fall asleep like, no matter how hard I try. And at first, I was, like, really beating me up, myself up. And I was like, oh, is it calories? But then, you know, I'm realizing that it might actually just be be because it's summer. And I'm actually probably going to be making a video on it, which is essentially going to be talking about um, catching the different energy waves of the day, right? And my theory behind it is that I think... There's something to do with our ability to uh, essentially, um, it's photosynthesis, our ability to um, absorb the sunlight or use the sun as an energy. And then on top of that, based on how good of a job we're doing at it, our, it's actually reflected by the change in our bioenergy, so like our hormones, right? And like there are literally different chemicals that are secreted in the body causing different effects, right? So me, for example, around usually four, five, that's when I usually feel the most active. Early in the morning, I tend to essentially, I don't want to say be asleep, but it's almost like I am still getting going. And I think it's kind of perfect to essentially get into workout and stuff because it's almost something that's um, it's a repetitive activity, meaning I can just go through it and be mindful in what I'm doing, using it as a way to wake myself up without having to put too much um, intellectual um, energy or focus onto it because I just by now have so much muscle memory around the different activities, the different reps, all the things that I'm doing, I just know what I'm doing. So I don't have to think about it so much. I just go in there and like,
go through my workout and my regime for that day, right? And so it's a lot easier than, like, later on in the day when I'm focusing on, like, the more creative aspects of, like, maybe creating videos or um, just thinking about or, like, going through different, like, educational courses or tutorials and, like, essentially trying to not only understand the information but see how it applies, see how it implements, and essentially having to discern through that information that requires a lot more mental and intellectual thought. So it's so weird, though, how, like, um, maybe it has to do with, like, the position of the sun, right? Like, depending on that, it actually brings about a different type of energy within you. And so what this means is parts of the day tend to be better suited for different activities. So I think there's something to that. And I'll probably just go more in depth with it. But uh, I don't know. It's just, it's been pretty, um, I don't want to say passable, but easygoing times. At times I just, I feel like giving up. Calling it quits. Not going after my dreams. <laughs> uh, and my other times, I'm just like, Sparta, what is your profession? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, also, I've been really enjoying um, getting closer with my mom and my family and just like, um, learning more about who they are and it makes me realize how blessed I am to it sounds weird but like finally seeing how I'm growing up because I'm actually able to listen to them like listen to her on like a deeper way and like I don't know it's it sounds really weird but like I hate to be crass but it's like for example when you're like dating girls when you first start out all you want is to just get the poon get the poon so you're not even really listening to the person but then later on you don't so much care about that but more so you're just trying to listen to the person the human being that they are so it becomes more about like um fostering that um, that human connection right and when you do that you're able to just listen to them like actually listen not just like waiting for your turn to talk, but literally listening. And like, it just takes every interaction you have to a much deeper level. Like, maybe if you're um, not just in that aspect, but like, if even in like, in your business, if you're like in sales, you're able to actually really figure out if you can help someone through your product or service, because you're really listening to them. You're hearing everything they have to say, and then you're also asking them those meaningful questions, right, that get to the root of what they're dealing with. So um, I see how that, like, that ability of empathy and compassion and a true willingness to understand is really vital in, like, creating relationships especially with family relationships. Sometimes it's not always easy to connect with them when maybe, for example, you're all about the digital and they grew up in a very traditional and conservative environment where they didn't have any of that. And so you're able to just be patient with them, with their like confusion and even um, reservedness against um, dealing in this digital realm, right? And because you're able to kind of put yourself aside and really give them your undying full 100% attention, it's almost like they just open up to you on a level that you never saw coming. And that's what I've been recently experiencing and just hearing like insane stories and things that she went through. I kind of like made her or helped her become the amazing person or the rich, insightful person that she is today, right? So, so it's been really humbling to see that. And it sounds really cheesy, but I'm just really grateful to 
have the opportunity to still have my mom, right? Still have my family. Because I know a lot of people that don't have their parent anymore. And I just keep praying, not only for her well-being, but that I may continue to be, like, an endless source of, like, value, inspiration, love, everything for her so she can have the strength to just be fucking epic in her life and in everything else that she does. Oh, to mom. Oh, to <laughs> uh, So that's been that. And then, yeah, I'm really just trying to just get um, more expertise with programming. Um, I... Re- been reading a lot into um, AI and what constitute AI, and it's insane because it's like what I was talking about a few months ago in school. Like it's all about. Remember when I was talking about binary trees and like pointers? Like that's literally what AI is. It's like uh, here's a node pointing to another node, pointing to another node, pointing to another node, and essentially what happens is there's like two types of AI, right? One is essentially heuristic based, meaning you say you give it a rule of thumb, kind of like me with the diet where I'm like, okay, um, I cut down any processed foods. I eat really clean, drink water, fuck ton, work out, and then like stay on top of my soccer shit and then go even harder on soccer. And I'm seeing more results in soccer by doing that, right? Just giving me a better edge and maybe increase my chance of going pro. But it's like for a computer in AI, what you do is you give it that rule of thumb. So you say, okay, um, choose the nearest node instead of the furthest, or choose two nodes from here, etc. Like you give it a rule of thumb, right? And then based on that, it does decisions. Right. Or the other one is essentially um, um, the one that's more common, which is based on feeding it data. So a big way, another way of thinking about it is like you give it a blueprint of what the right answer is. Right. And based on that, it shoots out that answer or it shoots out if um, this data is close to the right answer or not. So. Uh, a good example, I saw this, uh, there was this video on YouTube, and they're, I think they're using Python, and I think it's like a Google tutorial, um, it was like a machine learning, I believe it was called, but he used the word classifiers, so say for example, what happens, you input in your program um, the blueprint for a particular file, so this file has length of this much, height of this much, except, and it's this type of flower. Another type of flower has a length of this much and width of this much, and that's the type of flower. Another one has this much and that much, right? So you feed it data, right? And then now you give it a test case. So you say, determine what this is. And based on the data you that you fed it, it's going to say, okay, it's this one, this one, or that one. And that's pretty much from my understanding what most of the AI based technologies that you hear about today are based on. That's why they're heavily reliant on data because the data is essentially the gold of the machine without it having a proper blueprint to essentially form the right decisions or essentially um, without having the proper blueprint for which it can base or it can make the correct patterns because when you're giving a blueprint, you're saying this for- type of pattern is equated to this type of object. And without having good data, then it can't make accurate pattern guessed or accurate pattern based solutions. And that's why the data is so important in a lot of those AI based technologies, right? So there's that. And it's crazy because I was just, Kind of thinking a few months back how um, I kind of thing that I, I kind of dis, not despise the most but it's so confusing to me. Corners comes back to be something that's like 
there's like a whole other world that's created on it. So there's like that, and then there's something called neural networks, which was essentially the thing which I was talking about nodes, where, um, so say for example, um, you have a node here, this is your input, and that's your output, and like, you're essentially trying to um, cause the program to give a particular output, right? And by doing some sorts of calculation as the data goes through a program, or not calculation, but data manipulation, whether it's multiplying, adding, converting, etc., to get to a particular output. That's another type. I didn't really get into that well, so that's probably what you can feel by my inability to explain it as clearly as the other one. But it's pretty interesting just to see how, like, from, like, um, those fundamental concepts of programming, you can just always build on it, right? So you go from, like, variables, variables, functions, loops, right? Then there's, like, even more... It's so like you add on top of that conditional operators, like then you go to classes, classes and objects, then you can go into like abstract data types, data structures, and then you get into like this shit. So it's, and it's all just from like variables, like <laughs> and just like getting a really fundamental grasp on those things. And it just it's really mind blowing just to see how epic it is when something is well built because it can be expounded on or it can be built on, right? So when you build a good programming language from the get, developers can come and build on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. Then you build a programming empire or an empire or a castle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So um, it's, just, it's been really humbling to see. Yeah, I just plan on just going more programming, um, focusing on that, and then see where that takes me. Also, I've been wanting to draw more. <laughs> I think I'm going to draw this. I've mentioned this before, but definitely going to draw this. Superman. Superman, da, da. <laughs> be on the lookout for that. Anyways, that was a mouthful. Hope you guys get something out of this. And as always, swag the fuck out. Super Mario. Dang. T.